Hi, it's Rosa Collado with Keller William. And in today's video, we're going to go over seller concession. So if you are a homeowner or buyer, make sure you watch the entire video to learn the benefits of using a seller concession and exactly what it is. Now, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit subscribe. So every video that comes out, you are aware. So let's get right into it. So one of the options to limit out-of-pocket expense when buying a home is to roll over your closing costs into your mortgage. That way you pay them off over the loan period rather than upfront. This is also known as financing your closing costs. Financing your closing costs does not mean that you avoid paying them entirely. It just means that you don't have to bring thousands of dollars to the closing table in addition to your down payment because you're able to pay them over time as you pay off your mortgage. Now, there are some positive and negatives to doing this. The first positive is that obviously you have less out-of-pocket expenses and more cash at hand. The negative about this now is that rolling your closing costs onto your mortgage comes with having to pay interest on the closing costs the same way that you pay your interest on your mortgage. Also, adding the closing cost to your new mortgage balance, you are increasing the loan to value, which is known as LTV. Now, by increasing your LTV, you're reducing the amount of equity on your home. What does that mean? It means that less equity means less profit when you sell your home. And also, if you do decide to, let's say, refinance your home or take equity out of your home, that also means that now you have less equity. Now, let's just use an example here to have more clarification. So here's one example. Let's say that you are going to buy a home here in New York City for, let's say, $500,000. Now, the closing cost, let's just average it at $10,000. Now, the new purchase price is going to be $510,000. Now, the seller concession for the closing cost is going to be $10,000, and your out-of-pocket expense for the closing cost is going to be $0. Now, whether you're looking to roll over your closing costs back into your mortgage or not, there's always almost a cost when that is associated when you're actually purchasing a new home. Now, if you're a homeowner, how does this affect you? One of the first things you want to make sure is that your realtor is very much connected with the loan officer. You want to make sure that the house will actually appraise for the price for the new purchase price. And you also want to connect very closely with your attorney because you want to make sure that your attorney write verbiage in that contract stating that if the house does not appraise for the new purchase price and it only appraises for the price that you agreed, that the buyer has to have enough funds to close. And if not, they lose their down payment. So make sure that you are connected with the right realtor, the right loan officer, and the right attorney when you're going to sell your home. Now, if you do want to sell your home, please reach out to me at 917-833-0582. I would love to guide you and navigate you through the complicated process, whether you're looking to buy and sell at the same time or you're looking to buy for the first time. I'm here to help you.